Yet. I can't believe this. Gee! Oh, you suck. What the heck, man? I can't believe this. Gee! Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. job. This is a concourse rotisserie job that we're doing on this 1976 Mercedes-Benz over here at uh, SWRC DIY Auto School. Let me put my welder up. I am frustrated. I am mad. I am pissed off. And I'm going to tell you why. Right here. This is the situation. When you are welding, when you're welding and you're trying to get a precise weld on something, whether it's a car or or possibly a, a, a four by four, a half inch plate steel, angle iron, uh, I beam, whatever you want. You need precise and you need accurate helmet protection to cover your face like that. This is what you need. When you look at a mask like this, I want to show you this, and, and you see it covers your face. It's got a giant screen that you can see all the way around. It gives you peripheral vision and space. But let me tell you something. Don't judge the book by the cover because the cover can lie to you and tell you stories that aren't true. talking about over here today we're talking about welding helmets if you want to be an accurate welder and you want to weld good and and you want to be semi-professional at least and you want to do a proper job this is one of the most important tools you can have and the reason is is because let me go ahead and show you here see all these settings these are settings and and all welding helmets nowadays come with these all right these are auto darkening that means that when light hits it, it darkens. But the thing is, is buying a helmet is one of the most expensive things you're going to do to be a welder. So I was kind of in a fickle one day, and here's the helmet that I usually use. I've had this helmet here. Uh, this is a speed glass helmet. I've had this helmet for approximately 20 years. It's never let me down. But the problem you have, and I believe this helmet is the same way, these things are run off solar power. All right, these are solar panel helmets. So when the solar power runs out, you can't use your helmet. And being as old as it is, I can't really trust on my speed glass as much as I used to be able to. And when I'm in the middle of welding something like this, I really don't have time to jack around 
especially if it's nighttime or I'm in the shop working, we ain't got no, you know, light that's going to uh, charge it up. Now, I did set it outside for a couple hours, and it is charged up, but I had to go buy a helmet, and I went ahead and I bought this helmet here, which is the uh, clutch. This is a clutch helmet, and this helmet here is sold by Northern Tool. I don't know if anybody's out there has ever heard of Northern Tool. Northern Tool is basically a, an other brand of uh, uh, tool store such as Harbor Freight. So when you go to Northern Tool, this is what you're getting. You're getting Harbor Freight stuff, but it's going to have different names. And the clutch brand right here, the clutch, uh, right there, clutch, all right, that is Northern Tool's um, brand. That's the brand that they sell, and that's their house brand. Just like, uh, let's see, I believe that uh, Harbor Freight's brand is uh, Central Pneumatic, okay? Not Chicago Pneumatic, CP, like everybody in the world out there knows, Chicago Pneumatic is a, a very high-end tool. It's Central Pneumatic, but it still has that CP to catch your eye and say, ooh, that's a, that's a high-end tool. So, I went ahead and I bought this helmet. Now, this helmet was $100. Um, I told Minnie, I said, give me a good helmet, uh, you know, average Joe helmet. You don't have to get the highest, most end helmet. But she went ahead and got me this one, and I got it over here. Now, let me go over these, uh, these settings here for you. And what we got here is we got sensitivity. Is that that? Okay, sensitivity setting. That means how quick do you want it to turn dark? And then we got, of course, how dark do you want to go? All right, and then we got delay. That means in between uh, starting and stopping, when do you want it to come back and be a pair of sunglasses? Because that's basically, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to get my camera in here so you can see this. Um, this is basically what you're looking at right here. All right, are we on there? Let me see, I'm gonna get it going, get that. And, and then if I put this in here, you can kind of see the action that's going on. This is what it looks like when uh, uh, you're not welding. But when you're welding, of course, it turns super dark. And uh, let me get a spark uh, igniter, and I'm going to show you what happens when you, uh, when, you, when you first initially start welding. So if you see me right now, that's what we're looking at when the helmet is on your head. And then, of course when you hit a spark, and I hope this is working, you can see how the, uh, it gets dark and light when the spark hits. That's how a helmet works. So when you start welding, it automatically turns dark, and then when you're done, of course, it lightens up. Well, let me tell you about the clutch um, number helmet here. Uh, let's see, I don't even know what number this is. I just know it's a clutch helmet. Let me tell you something about this helmet, okay? This helmet is the biggest pile of shit I have ever used. First of all, when you're looking through it as, you know, basic looking through it before you start welding and that spark hits, you can't see nothing. It's really, really dark. You can put it on the lightest setting that you want and it's still like super dark, okay? You can put it on the darkest setting so it won't be dark, so it'll be dark when you, and it doesn't matter. I believe that these little buttons don't do jack shit, and that's just for show and tell. That's it. All right? This helmet that you're looking at is a waste of money. This is the uh, Series 800 Auto Darkening Welding Helmet, and it's a solar cell power pack. Uh, it's a, there's a replaceable lithium battery that you have to replace in it, but it is a solar pack over battery ride. Um, it's a one size fits all. You can see that right there. I wouldn't even recommend this helmet, to be honest with you. I wouldn't even recommend this for a beginner. I wouldn't buy this for my 15 year old kid on Christmas. All right? The biggest pile of shit that I've ever used in my life is this thing right here. Or should I say, hold on, right here. Okay? This piece of crap, and I'm going to go ahead and spark it again and show you. Okay, I don't know if it's working or not. I'm on the other end over here, but you can kind of see what's going on. Now, let me go ahead. I'm going to bring this helmet out, um, and I'm going to show you here. Now, this one here is called a speed glass, all right? If you look right here, 
Okay, we don't have a lot of view going on. We got just enough for our eyes. And it fits your head just a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, you see what I'm saying? It's a little bit smaller, but this one here is fully automatic. There's no adjustments on it. You don't adjust anything. It's just a, a, a stick it on your head and weld and go. I've had this helmet for uh, close to 20 years, and this helmet is awesome. Um, if you look inside the helmet right here, you can see there's no settings on it. There's nothing. This helmet is specifically designed for professional use. This helmet, when I bought this helmet, was $400. This was a $400 welding helmet. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and turn that on. I got to have the helmet on to turn it on. You can see that here's our helmet right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and spark that. Uh, let me get my sparker and get it to spark if I can. Okay, there we go. Okay, but you can see that this one here, can you see that there's no delay? All right, there's no delay in this helmet. And when I say delay, what I'm talking about is between dark and light. It's like an instant, instant. It automatically, instantly, bang, 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 bang. Whereas this one, all right, this helmet right here, when you're using this helmet, and we're gonna go ahead and spark that, and when you're using this one, let me show you, there is a delay in this, and that's what really screws you up when you're welding, is having that, that certain delay of use to actually use the, uh, let's see if we can get that. Okay, so here we are right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the delay, and let's see if it, do you see the delay in it? Do you see that? See how it has a, a short delay? See that? See how it stays, okay? Do you see that? So it stays darker longer before it turns lighter. And it's very, very dark to even look at. Um, and I don't care what you do with this. This is ridiculous. This is a, a setting that says, hey, wow, wow, look at, look at here, Grandma. I got the Bozo Clown hat. I paid $100. This was $400. $400. And I'm going to show you the instantaneous um, usage. Okay, so here's our helmet right here. Let me see if I can get it. I'm trying to do this the best way possible. This is... This is a review on the worst helmet ever made, and it's not this one. Um, so here's our helmet uh, right there. Okay, now watch how quick this one is. Do you see that? Watch. There's no delay. Look at that. Let me get that. Do you see that? See how? See how it? Automatic. 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 It's an automatic. There it is. Look at that. No delay at all. That's the kind of helmet you want. You want a helmet that when you put that on your head and you are welding, you want it to go dark while you're welding, automatically come back on. And another thing you want is you want the right shade of darkness so when you're welding, it's not too dark and it's not too light. That's another situation. Now, you get these, these hokey pokey bullshit helmets like this one that have all these adjustments on them and you look at those adjustments and you say, you know, this is the best helmet because I can precisely adjust it to my view of eyes and, and all this other crap. And it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And I say that because these don't do anything. They're junk. I'm going in circles here. I wanted to show you this. This is a, a not a Harbor Freight. And I would not. I'm going to tell you this again. And I'm going to go ahead and get a Harbor Freight helmet and review it. But... I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to welding helmets, and I'm going to get this one up, when it comes to welding helmets, okay, you get what you pay for, plain and simple. You want to spend $100, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a cheap clown hat. That's what it's going to be, a big clown hat. And all you're going to do is you're going to burn holes in your metal. You're not going to get an accurate weld because you can't see what's going on. It's delaying on you, and it's not a precise helmet, whereas you spend $400, all right, this one's $400, and you're going to get an accurate helmet that is going to be precise and professional. If you want to be a welder, then do the right thing, let my friend Pete's tell you, and get and spend the money for a helmet that is not just going to protect 
okay, but it's also going to turn you into a better welder, more professional, and more accurate all at the same time. Get the clown hat, and you're going to throw it in the trash and say, wow, I should have listened to my friend Pete. I should have. All right? Now, like I said, that was a spur of the moment thing, uh, buying that. Um, because I had to let this one charge up and I, I was in the middle of a project and had to get it done that night. But uh, I will never get rid of my speed glass. Another important thing about helmets, and we're going to bring up our yo-yo clown here, um, Mr. Clown Hat. We're going to go ahead and bring that up. Another thing about these helmets, to make them work properly, is you must change out the uh, protective glass. And uh, yeah, this one does have one on the inside that protects it on the inside as well. And they do sell these, but the problem you have with these cheap and expensive ones, once they discontinue these, you can't get the parts that you need for them. And I'm talking about the protective lens on the outside, and then of course the one on the inside. Whereas this helmet right here, even though I bought this helmet uh, 17, 18 years ago, I can still buy the parts that I need to make this helmet work, and that's including the headband itself. So, spend the extra money, get the right parts that you need for the action that you need, and do it because it's in your best interest to say, let me get this bitch up here one more time, to say, I don't need this. Go screw yourself, Mr. Cheap Guy Clown Hat. And that is the honest truth. Your friend Pete taking my beautiful helmet from 17 years ago and doing some awesome welding instead of taking my clown hat and throwing it over my shoulder. We'll see you later. school. Classes don't stop till you know everything.